Hi friends, welcome to Nursing Mandra. I hope all you are keeping well. Today, I am here with an important video related to how to become a registered nurse in United States of America. What all are the steps we have to follow to become a registered nurse there? There are 10 steps to become a registered nurse in US. Step 1. Credential verification of your documents by CGFNS. Step 2. Applying in state nursing board where you wish to work or wish to get registered. Step 3. Englex RN or PN exam application. Step 4. NCSBN exam that means the Englex RN exam scheduling. Once you pass the exam, step 5. Get an employer attorney. Step 6. Pass the English Proficiency Language Test, IELTS, TOEFL or OET. Step 7. Immigration process through US CIS. That means United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Step 8. Obtaining a priority date. Step 9. Attend an interview for permanent residency immigration. Step 10. Fly to USA. These are the 10 steps. So we will go each one by one. What is the first step? Credential evaluation by CGFNS. Credential evaluation that is doing by different agencies but I am familiar about the CGFNS and some of the other agencies also doing but most familiar that is CGFNS. CGFNS means Commission on Graduates of Foreign Nursing Schools. They are doing the verification of our documents. Documents especially they are doing for our college transcript license. That means your registration, Nursing Council registration. These two documents mainly they are doing the CGFNS verification. For the CGFNS verification, we have to apply through the CGFNS website. So, uh, we have to select the nursing board. After that, we have to pay the application fee for the CGFNS verification. The fees will be around 365 USD to 420 USD like that. Depends on the documents because some of the uh, professionals, they will be having the diploma nursing, post BC nursing, MSc nursing. So, depends on the documents. You want to do the college transcript based on that, uh, the fees will be more. Once you paid the fee for CGFNS verification, the application form you will get. With this form, you have to give to your college for the transcript verification. You have to approach to your uh, principal and uh, she has to fill the form, the details officially used. She has to fill it out and have to send back to the CGFNS. Same like in the nursing councils where your registration is there from that nursing council they will do the verification and they will send directly to the CGFNS. This process usually takes two to four months sometimes even six months also if your nursing council is not that much responsible and some I know that some of the nursing councils they are sending the verification form to delay. So that is regarding credential evaluation by CGFNS. That is the first step. Okay, now we will go for step two. Applying in the nursing board where you wish to get it registered. So you completed your CGFNS verification and already you have selected the nursing board when you are applying for the CGFNS verification. So CGFNS will send the report, verified report to the nursing board which you selected. We know that in US there are 50 states. Each state is having different nursing regulatory bodies. All these nursing regulatory bodies are regulated by National Council of State Board of Nursing that is NCSBN. So that is regulating all the nursing bodies and they will counsel all together. Based on your nursing regulatory body, which place you are applying, according to that, your application process changes up. Some nursing regulatory bodies, application process is easy. Some bodies, it will be little difficult. 
based on this document submission and all these things mild difference will be there same like uh, in the state nursing councils each nursing council will be having different different uh, documentation is required for most of the process same like that here also in us nursing regulatory body decides what is the application process so you have to do the uh, registration in the state nursing board where you want to uh, work according to the nursing board application fees also will be different for an example we can see one nursing board that uh, application fee that is will be uh, that will be around 50 usd then a criminal background verification or uh, like a criminal background history that fees around 60 usd will be there once you apply for the application it will be taking 5 to 10 working days depending on the application and depending on your nursing regulatory body maybe little changes will be there but around 5 to 10 working days usually taking by most of the nursing regulatory bodies in years and in some boards i noticed that they are asking for some of the courses attending online courses like infection control uh, courses then child abuse courses and so many other legal um, fundamentals like that all these things courses we have to attend in some nursing regulatory bodies then only they will approve it and these courses are again we have to pay online for these courses also and we have to submit that certification also based on this nursing regulatory bodies that is the step to applying in the nursing regulatory bodies in the US which state you want and all these things I have mentioned in the nursing mantra blogs you can check that now we are moving to step 3 what is step 3 that is Anglex RN exam booking application directly we can't move to the Anglex schedule so first we have to apply for Anglex booking NCLEX means National Council Licensure Examination. So that is conducted by Pearson View. Pearson View website which we are writing for um, especially here in UAE means a hard exam we are writing. DOH Department of Health exams conducted by Pearson View. Same centrally conducting this NCLEX exam also. As we know that NCLEX exam all country there is no Pearson View centers. So you can check in Google in your country Pearson View centers are there or not if it is not there nearest country where it is available you have to get a visa and you have to go there and write the exam even NCLEX exam if Pearson View center is there also NCLEX exam will not be there in some countries so which country nearest your place where NCLEX is there that one you have to select okay you can keep in mind that in India, uh, there is Anglex centers are there. So, after you are registering in the state nursing board and uh, after paying the registration fees, 220 USD is the registration fees for Anglex registration. And uh, the nursing uh, regulatory bodies, they will send you authorization to test ATT. ATT number we will get. That is given by your nursing regulatory body with that number only we can book the exam once you get ATT from your nursing regulatory body it is valid for three months before it was three months after this COVID and all it is upgraded to six months so within that duration you have to uh, finish your NCLEX exam you have to schedule your exam and you have to pass the exam so this is the website ncsbn you can check here NCLEX and other exams so all details house mentioned here and uh, before the exam all these uh, like uh, what do you have to do, do for the exam day after the exam testing locations also mentioned here you can check nearby locations regarding NCLEX doubts everything has mentioned here NCLEX FAQ and all so before the exam and uh, registering everything has mentioned in this website and there is a candidate bulletin also you can go through that also for uh, checking regarding NCLEX application okay so if you want any guidance or if you want any assistance for doing NCLEX application you can contact nursing mantra now we got authorization to test then next step step four that is NCSBN examination booking that is NCLEX examination booking simply we say NCLEX examination booking 
so ncsbn now we have seen that website ncsbn that is the um, state board of nursing approved in us australia and canada these three countries they have accepted ncsbn so once you get the att number from your nursing regulatory body you have to uh, login in the pearson view website and you can schedule the NCLEX exam by entering your ATT number. The scheduling fee for the NCLEX exam that is 150 USD. If you failed the NCLEX examination one time, then you have to wait for 45 days. From the first attempt, you have to wait for 45 days to write the second exam. In a year, you can write eight times, maximum of eight times the NCLEX examination. So, but each time you have to pay for ATT and the exam fees you have to pay each time. Congratulations, you passed the NGLEX exam. Now what to do? That is, most of the nurses are getting stuck here. And we know that before the retrogression, uh, most of the nurses, they have done the NGLEX uh, exams. And after that, uh, some of them are started the visa processing and that agencies are not there now. They closed the agency. They don't know their details, login details and all. Now, no documentation at all. Like that, I know so many nurses are there. For all of them, they are now restarting the application because now US is started to take the nurses. If you pass the NCLEX exam, you can like uh, it is uh, lifelong that exam will be valid. You can do the renewal in your nursing um, regulatory board. You can do renewal if you are in your country also. From there also you can renew the NCLEX license. That is possible. Now we will move through the step 5. After passing NCLEX, what you have to do? That step is get an employer attorney. What is attorney? That is your employer attorney who is helping you for the further process to get the immigration service to clear. So that is the step to get an employer attorney. How we will get? If you have friends in US, you can ask your friends, their hospital HR employer attorney is willing to help us to provide um, visa for us, like job offer for us or not. Sometimes some of the hospital, they will post the jobs and if you are applying, sometimes they will conduct the video um, call and all, Skype interviews and all will be there. Through that also, if they like you, they will select you and they will give you the job offer. In that case, that hospital uh, HR department, that uh, employer attorney will assist you for the further process. So make sure that after you pass the exam, uh, just check all the website of each hospital for this uh, um, employer um, career details you can check for the uh, jobs then you can apply like that and even though they, there are no friends and you are not getting any job interviews then you can approach some agencies for doing this process there are so many agencies good agencies they are helping you for this visa process you can approach them also for that so that is employer attorney should be there that is the step five in step six you have to finish your english proficiency language testing uh, your IELTS, TOEFL or OET. OET we know that in US only two states they are approving OET that is a state of Florida and Oregon. Other states still they need IELTS or TOEFL. IELTS means International English Language Testing System. TOEFL test of English as a foreign language and OET you know that occupational English test maybe we can hope that in future they will accept OET for other states also how you can check how much score is required for your IELTS or how much score is required for the TOEFL based on your nursing boards all down you can go through the nursing uh, boards website then you can see international uh, foreign uh, graduates details will be there so in the international candidates option there is there click on that there you can find out english language proficiency test scores how much required all these things are mentioned in each nursing regulatory board 
so which one you selected in that board itself it is mentioned so don't ask which state uh, okay i'm uh, applying for this state how much score is required no need to ask all these things because clearly it is written in each nursing regulatory boards under the foreign individual like uh, foreign candidates details in case of this uh, oet as we know that now it is accepted only for two states florida and oregon in florida they need individual c plus and in oregon individual b score is required and regarding oet there are uh, not that much information in the nursing uh, board sites also just uh, it is mentioned like uh, two nursing boards they are approving it but not detailed they have not mentioned anything regarding this oet exams there so better you can focus on this uh, english test so if you already pass the oet you can try these regulatory bodies florida and oregon then later on if you want to transfer to other state easily you can transfer your license step 7 immigration process immigration process through uscis united states citizenship and immigration services so this is the website for us citizenship and immigration services uscis and in uh, youtube also there is uh, apply for citizenship online how to file your application uh, for the visa process and all it is mentioned by us cis and uh, apply citizenship online the how given how to file your application for this process has mentioned in the video also you can go through that also uh, to understand more detail about the immigration services so for the nurses which visa you have to apply that is employment based three category eb3 category you have to apply for the permanent residence visa medical professionals under skilled workers eb3 visa category you can select so this immigration application process we need the help of attorney we previously we have discussed regarding attorney employer attorney their help is required at this stage they have to submit the i-140 application form we have to fill and give to them and they also fill from their side also and so many other documents also required and from their side also they will submit most of the documents together and uh, we have to uh, submit that i-140 application form uh, to the government for submission of i-140 form the cost is 700 usd here i will show i140 form just a model i will show now this is i140 immigrant petition for alien workers so department of homeland security us citizenship and immigration services form uh, i140 so there will be uh, all these details we have to mention um, like uh, personal details organization details petition petitioner type all these details how mentioned this is i140 mainly it is filling by um, our petitioner that is attorney will uh, complete this form and submit to the us cis uh, next process is obtaining the priority date obtaining obtaining priority date means those who filed the application before they will fly first those who first apply they will fly first that is the policy for the priority date each country is having different priority date will be there you can check us cis website uh, for the priority date your country priority date came or not you can check and what is the some countries the current priority date is running also so you can check there is visa bulletin each every month it is mentioned in that uh, uh, website there will be visa bulletin in visa bulletin uh, which country now in priority date it is there so those who apply maybe 10 years before maybe now they are calling it's like that so what you have to do means apply until here and keep your application process so when your priority date comes then you have to move with the further steps now we can see how we can check the visa bulletin section and what is your priority date so here you can see uh, the travel state uh, dot gov us department of state website you can see here 
here there is current visa bulletin that is October 2022 we can check for the November okay so upcoming visa bulletin for November 2022 there you have to you selected eb3 category right so you have to select for this uh, employment section employment based preference cases here you can see the third eb3 right so uh, in the third um, china there is uh, 15 june 2018 and other C means this current is a priority date is running in India it is April 2012 so application submitted in 2012 now it is running so now if you are submitting the applications maybe after five or six years um, as I heard that there are a lot of vacancies so maybe even it is it will come faster also uh, not time delaying also so now you have to apply for the application process until here and wait to get your priority date every month in the visa bulletin they will mention which year they are calling like that so once you get the priority date then you have to move forward with the immigration services next step step 9 that is national visa center nbc our u.s citizenship and immigration service they will send the application to nbc national visa center with all the previous uh, details data everything they will send there are multiple steps in this uh, stage and uh, make sure that your petitioner or attorney is paying the application fee uh, in this section national visa center they can approve your application or they can reject your application maybe your application will be retaining and asking for more documentation so you have to monitor always the application status whatever documents they have they are asking you have to submit all those documents once they will receive the I-140 form application, then you will get the receipt that uh, they have received the um, I-140 form like that. Or um, if uh, biometric is needed, means they will tell that biometric service that is required, you have to submit that form. Then uh, you will get a notice for an interview if it is required based on your profession. And uh, a notice for a decision also you will get. These all details you will get in your mail. Once it is approved by the NBC National Visa Center, then you will get final interview call to attend an embassy interview from your country itself. So that is our 10th step, attend interview for permanent residence in US. So you have to prepare for the interview well. There will be oral interview will be there. They will ask the purpose of going there. Your profession related questions will be there regarding your employer. All the details they will ask. So that is in India. We can say that this interviews are conducted by consulate in India or US embassy in India. They are conducting the interviews. After passing the interview, your visa is approved. So now you can take the flight ticket and fly to us so this is the process application process for getting registered nurse licensure in united states of america i hope all of you understood regarding the application process if you need assistance for doing the process or for the study materials you can contact nursing mandra thank you